It's me, Bree Reads! Hi, friends! It's me, Bree! Today, let's draw a digger together! And a crane! And a dozer! <laughs> Today's drawing is inspired by this book! The Digger and the Flower. You can read with me in another video. Today, let's draw. For a printable version, please visit my website, linked below, and check the timestamps for when you can color with me. For this project, you'll need paper. I'm starting with two big pieces, folding them in half like this, stacking them together and cutting on the middle line. This will give me halves. I want to work with half pieces of paper. One, two, three. That leaves me one extra for a different project. You'll also need a pencil or something to draw with, a marker or pen to outline with, and an eraser. You can always use the one at the end of your pencil. And something to color with. I'm using my favorite beeswax crayons. Now let's begin with the digger. Find the middle of your paper, move this way to the left, and down a little. This is where we'll draw a square. Not too big, just like this. Then take this line up, over, down, and back to make a tall rectangle. Then we'll extend this line to make another square here. Now for the arm of the digger. It will go at a slant like this. Leave some room at the top. We'll start here and slant up, then stop, and again, and stop. Now we'll make a straight line up, then over, and from here, slant down. From here, slant down. Let's make a flat line across. Leave some room, stop. This will be a small bump all the way to the edge. And here, a straight slant. Then, connect the two. From here, we'll make a kind of moon shape. That's your digger. Now I'll go back up to the arm. This is where I'm going to draw a circle. This represents the bolt that holds the arm pieces together. Now I'm going to turn my paper to make the wheels. I'll go from the edge of the boxes all the way across and stop. Then make a bump here to the bottom of the paper. Make that same long line across and another bump. If you run into your digger, just go around it. Here I'll make another bump. A little bit further, I'll do it again. A little bit further and one more. These will be our wheels. Here, I'm going to make some lines like this. Fit as many as you like. I'll skip this one and do the same here. Make some lines. This shows how the wheels will roll forward. We're back this way and inside the wheels, Let's make a long oval to match the shape we already made inside like this. Over here, a circle. 
and another on this side. Then some horizontal lines. Since this back wheel is partly covered, we're just making part of an oval and only one of those same circles. Now it's time for Digger's face. From this box here, we're going to make a great big U shape, leaving some room on the sides. And close it. This almost looks like a great big smile. On either side, we're going to make a circle. These will be Digger's eyes. I'm going to fill in a smaller circle inside. And now, a tiny arch for the eyebrows. On the mouth area, I'm going to make some sideways lines across. Just however many you can fit that are evenly spaced. And over here, I'm going to add some more bolts. I'll do that by drawing circles. On the very back of Digger, I'm going to add a pipe that looks like a cylinder. For me, that just means a rectangle shape. There! Now, to make your drawing more like a coloring page, you can outline it with a black marker or pen. You can skip this part if you like, but I'll go ahead and outline all my pencil marks. When I'm finished, I'll take my eraser and erase any of the pencil lines that are left over. This means my digger is ready to color. But first, I'm going to draw my other construction vehicles. Next, the crane. Again, find the middle of your paper and move left this way. This is where we'll start the body of the crane. Moving down. over, making a kind of long, almost rectangle. From the bottom, over, but this time go a little bit further and stop. Now connect them with a slanted diagonal line, like this. Now we'll create the head shape by adding a line here, diagonal down. Next, we're going to make the crane's arm. For this, I'm going to tilt my paper and draw a diagonal line up, here and here. Connect them with a curved line like this. That's one level. Let's make level two. Level two comes up in a line like this, over here, and again, connect with a curved line, almost like a smile. That's level two. We'll do the same thing for level three, which is even smaller, but has the same shape. Now at the top, make sure you leave some room for a circle and a smaller circle inside. Over here, we're going to make another bent line along the side, and this is where the crane will drop from. Let's make our line. A circle, and then a hook, like this. It looks like a letter J. Now we're going to do the same trick to make those wheels. 
will start at the end of the crane, draw a straight line all the way down to the other side, and bump. Then all the way back up, and bump. Just like before, we're going to match up the lines here and make your first bump. Move up a little and bump. One more time, bump. Now we'll make those cross lines for the wheel. As many as you can fit. And on the inside, we'll do those same ovals and circles. On this large one, it's an oval all the way across inside. And for the crane, I'm going to make more circles. One in the middle, two on this side, and two on this side. These wheels look just a little bit different than the digger. For the face, I'm going to draw a straight line over and make a kind of triangle shape just with the top cut off. On each side, I'll draw circles for the eyes. And again, straight lines across with filled in smaller circles for the pupils. This time I'm going to make kind of small rectangle eyebrows. Some more bolts. One, two, three, four small circles. And on the back, another pipe, a rectangle shape. Now this is ready to outline. Remember, you can skip this part and go straight to the coloring. I'm using a marker to outline to make it pop off the page. And it works better as a coloring page this way. I use my bigger marker for the big lines, and then I go in with a smaller, thinner pen for the small lines. There! Now our very last one is the dozer. Start in the middle, this time go down and over to the right, this way. We're going to make a great big plate. This is what the dozer uses to push. Let's make a line at the bottom and a line above. We're going to connect the lines with slants, two diagonals. One here and a little over to go down here. Now we're going to make a great big wheel. It's going to look almost like a triangle. Up, down, and over. The whole thing will be curved, like this. We'll go up, curve down, curve over. There. And inside, we'll make another curved triangle shape. Now the lines of the wheel, just on the top part. Inside, I'll make circles in each corner of the triangle. Then some bolts, a couple small ones here and a few small ones here. Now the body of the dozer. I'll start with the head shape from the middle of the dozer plate a kind of square up. Then a longer rectangle over. From the middle of that one, I'll go up again, over even longer this way, and down to meet the wheel. Now 
Now this line, I'm going to extend down so they're touching like one long line. Here I'm going to put that same pipe. This time I make it a little bit taller and a little bit narrower. It's that same rectangle shape. Now the dozer's bolts. I'm going to put five small circles. And for the dozer's face, a kind of rainbow shape this time. It'll run right into the dozer's plate. Two circles, one on each side, just like before for the eyes. This time the eyebrows are bigger rectangles, blockier. And pupils, like before. You can think of this as the mouth, and we're going to draw lines across again. This dozer is ready to outline. First, my big marker. Then, my smaller pen for all the little bolts, the eyes, and the eyebrows. Now if you printed your friends, this is the part where you join us to color. I'm starting with Digger. For Digger, I'm starting with this mustard yellow color. I'm using my favorite beeswax crayons and I'll link them in the description so you can find them too. Anywhere I want to leave white, like this bolt, I'm going to color around, giving it a kind of bumper and then fill in all the other parts I want yellow. I make those bumpers again when I run into these bolts. It's just a ring of yellow around those to keep them white so I don't accidentally color inside them. I do the same thing around the eyeballs. I want to keep those white too. Then I'll make some yellow stripes on the mouth part. I'm just tracing a line over the black lines I already made. Leaving some white space, but that'll get filled in soon. Next I'll take the black crayon and fill in the pipe. The digger or scooper. This part I'm going to press harder and make a darker black color. And for this part, I'm going to press lighter. This makes a lighter black color. Now I'll fill in the rest of the stripes. And on the wheels, I'll do the same kind of striped method, but this time I'm going to leave those blank areas white. On this part of the wheel, I fill it in black. Same with the front wheel. On the inside part, 
I leave a kind of white ring around the outside. So I color in everything except the part that's touching the line. You don't have to be this careful. Do whatever you like. There it is! The yellow digger is finished! Now what about that crane? I'm using a red crayon! I'll start in with my red color on the body of the crane. And when I reach those bolts, I want them to stay white. So I'll do the very same thing and make a bumper around them. My video is sped up really fast, but feel free to take your time coloring in. I'll make the same stripes on this mouth part. Now I go in with black. I color in the pipe and on this crane arm, I'm going to make a darker underside. This gives the arm a little bit of dimension. On the top, I press lighter. That makes a lighter black color. It gives it a kind of shadow. Up here on the circle, I color it all in the same black. this smaller circle too. The wheels I'm going to treat about the same as I did on the digger. Leave some white space where the lines are and a little bit of white space around the oval part too. You can go as slow or be as careful as you like. Whatever feels right to you. I'm going to finish out those stripes on the crane's mouth. And that's it! The crane is finished! Let's color the dozer. I'm using orange for the dozer. The dozer's body is a bit smaller, but I still go around the eyes and bolts, the parts that I want to stay white. and I still use those stripes on the dozer's mouth grate. I'm matching the colors from the story. You can use really any colors you like for these construction trucks. Next, I'm using my black crayon. I'm coloring the pipe, the dozer's plate. This is what it uses to push dirt. And the wheels. I'm doing the very same stripes, leaving a bit of white between each one. and leaving those circles on the inside white too.
Lastly, I finish with filling in the stripes on the mouth. And my dozer is complete! Now we've got three construction trucks ready for the job! Very nice coloring today, friends! We did it! <laughs> Thank you for drawing and coloring with me today, friends! I want to see your drawings! You can find and tag me on Instagram to show me! And please subscribe to my channel for more books and more fun! See you next time! Bye-bye!